Good morning, my friends, and happy Easter. Today, we are going to Volcano Bay at Universal Orlando, which by far is my favorite water park ever. It's so much dang fun, but we're going to be navigating the park through a 10-year-old. That 10-year-old being my stepdaughter, Adri. Bianca is also tagging along, and we're just going to have a really fun Easter Sunday at Volcano Bay. I hope you guys are ready because we are. Let's go do this. And away we go. Okay, Adri, what are you most excited about? Because you're the one that's going to be picking everything we're doing today. Um, I'm most excited about like riding all the rides. Yeah. I want to ride all of them. What about you, babe? I'm excited to do the aqua coaster. All right, there you go. <laughs> and here we are. There's the Aventura Hotel. I am so excited. Here's a hot tip. Do you guys see that line right behind me? That's everybody waiting to take the escalator up. Turn right because there's a ramp and this is just the way that people would go if you have a wheelchair and there's no line right here. It takes you right to the front. Also, if you are staying at Cabana Bay, this is the walkway that you have from your resort over here to Volcano Bay. And also if you stay at the Aventura Hotel, you have your own walkway over here as well. And here we are. About to enter the park. Look at this view. I always feel like I'm in Hawaii when I'm here. By the way, looks like Universal is also using the new photo validation system here at Volcano Bay. As soon as you scan your ticket, the team member will give you a tapu tapu. Everybody in the park will have one of these. This is basically how you wait in line without actually waiting in line. It's quite nice that they have this here. And then since I'm a bigger dude, I always get a extender. That way it's not constantly falling off. Right when you walk in, you can find the first of many photo opportunities. All you do, you will scan your tapu tapu right there. And then you'll pose down with this view. Oh my goodness. This view never gets old. Well, I was hoping one of the upgrades would be available, but everything is already sold out. So if you're interested into purchasing a cabana or the premium seating, which I do have full videos on both of these, if you wanna check it out, I'll be sure to leave those links down below in the description, I would recommend these. But today, unfortunately, everything is sold out, but that's okay. We're gonna head back towards the back of the park where nobody really goes. If you do want a cabana or the premium seating, I highly recommend give Universal a call ahead of time, make your reservation, and I will leave that number on the screen or down in the description as well. Here's Bamboo Jungle Kitchen, and this is a place where you can grab lunch we found a place to sit right over here. We'll walk down a little further. That way you guys know where to look if you come on a busy day. We're right over here. And there's the volcano. Our lounge chairs just right over here. There's also some outdoor seating over here as well. We keep hearing something right here. I think it's from the Lazy River. That's kind of cool. Oh, there it goes. We need to purchase a locker and I wanted to show you the pricing. These are $20 for the larger family lockers. And then these over here, which are the smaller ones, are $14. I am going to go ahead and switch over to the GoPro now. All right, mommy, you ready? Yep. Let's do it. We are going to enjoy the Fearless River first. And this is the crazy lazy river. It goes very fast, it's wild, it's so much fun. Everyone has to wear a life vest if you want to enjoy the Fearless River. We're going to enjoy this a few times. Go drop off the GoPro because you can't film the attractions here at Volcano Bay, unfortunately. And then by then, it should be lunchtime. We are good to go. Let's do this. You ready, mommy? <laughs> Woohoo! That's not too cold. The temperature is just right, huh? Uh-oh! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's picking up speed now! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, here comes the fun part, Mommy.
in my last visit. They turned up the knob a little bit, and I appreciate that, Universal. Adri said, let's do it one more time. Guess what? We're doing it again. I don't even know what time it is. A few hours later, we got done riding a lot of attractions. I must say, the park is very busy, but Universal is getting through these long lines very quick and efficient. I think the most we've waited so far is like 21, 22 minutes. Not bad at all, but it's just now afternoon and we are going to go grab some lunch and then continue on with our day. We're having a lot of fun. As far as navigating Volcano Bay with a 10 year old, you're pretty much just going to be doing everything <laughs> and I'm all for it. I mean, we haven't stopped since. This is the first time we're actually taking a break. Since we're already right here, we're going to grab lunch from Bamboo Jungle Kitchen. Here's a quick look at their menu. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get. That chicken sandwich sounds kind of good. And then we have some fresh salads. Ooh, a tropical fruit salad. And then desserts, pineapple upside down cake, and an icy. And that's about it, pretty standard menu. I do wonder if this mahi sandwich would be any good. Also, this is a pretty good deal if you're into having a lot to drink throughout your visit, whether that's soda from the Coca-Cola freestyle machines, but this one includes ices. Something that I really appreciate that Universal continues to do, they offer pass holder discounts everywhere here at Volcano Bay. So if you are a pass holder, be sure you ask. This is what we got. We got a bacon cheeseburger for Adri. I got the grilled chicken sandwich on a coconut sweet bread. And then we got some chicken tenders and fries. This looks really good. I will say the food is pretty okay. You know, it's just your standard theme park food. It is good quality. I do wish I would have went with the mahi sandwich. Bianca's grilled chicken sandwich is pretty good. And then Adri's burger, pretty good as well. She loves it. <laughs> She's destroying it as I talk here. But yeah, really good. Now I do have a tip for you guys. If you have time or if you just can do this, I would highly recommend that you do do this. Pack your own lunch and bring it. I really wish I had one of my turkey sandwiches right now, my fruit. I just thought of another helpful tip if you're visiting Volcano Bay with a 10 year old or just children in general. Kids are going to want to eat pretty early. It's just now 1230. The line isn't too bad right now. I mean, it's starting to pick up, but I feel like a lot of people eat lunch at a water park around like 1, 1 2 o'clock just because the water park opens you know later on in the day it opened today at 10 a.m volcano bay open and, and then closes at 7 p.m which is awesome but if you are staying at a universal hotel you get access into volcano bay 30 minutes before the park opens to the general public so that's something to keep in mind and i'm glad we did this just because you know adri was hungry and we got her fed and then i'll probably have another bite to eat somewhere else i definitely want a adult beverage at some point beverage, beverage. Bianca's talking my language. We sat here to have our lunch and our lounge chairs are just right over here, right across the way.
You can find two different versions of a lazy river here at Volcano Bay. We already enjoyed the Fearless River, which was the more extreme river. This is the normal, slow-paced lazy river. Let's uh, go ahead and scan our Tapu Tapu because the Aquacoaster has a 255 minute wait right now. What the heck? There you go. That's all that you have to do. I'm now in line. We are now heading over to the children's area. I'm going to try to show this off the best that I can without getting too many kids in the video, but this is really cool. There's so much for them to do. Splash pads, water slides, a little obstacle course. Let's see if it still works. Oh yeah, you're spraying them. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at the line for the bar here at Dancing Dragons. And this is why I always like to get either a cabana or premium seating because you will have a personal server come to you to get your drinks and food. And I just feel like that's worth the price, especially to have that convenience. I wanted to show you my Tapu Tapu since we scanned in for the Aqua Coaster. It will continue to let me know how much longer we have to wait. Right now we still have another 245 minutes to go. Oh boy but I like this. We are walking by the front of the park and we're passing by this quick service restaurant. It's basically the same place where we had our lunch, but I wanted to show you the line and it's just now 1 p.m. Again, this is the front of the park, but holy cow. This is why I always tell you guys, go towards the back of the park. The next request from Adri, it's ice cream time. Here's a look at their menu. You can also get shaved ice here as well. There's the flavors. This is what Adri got. She got vanilla soft serve with sprinkles and a cup. That looks so dang good. <laughs> Mama, you gotta get this ice cream away from me. I can't do it. That is dangerously good. You can find a few designated smoking areas throughout the park. Taking a quick break and I'm trying to get myself a adult beverage from this other bar back here because the line isn't as long. Here's a quick look at their menu. Huh. Nothing is really jumping out at me. But thank goodness this is a full open bar. I got myself a vodka cranberry double. This is hitting the spot right now. I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to the GoPro now. Back on the GoPro and Adri wants to take mommy inside of the Fearless River. So that's where we're heading to now. Holy traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. We're doing it. It's side of the park.
what the heck? 165 minute wait for the body slides. This is a fun one though. We are now inside of the massive wave pool. And here come the waves. And it's just constant waves, nothing too intense like Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah, nice, real nice. And here's an overview of the entire water park. I mean, it's so massive. There's so many things to do here. All right, I lost track of time. I'm looking at my watch right now. It is 5.30 p.m. The park closes at 7 p.m., but we had a lot of fun. We got on so many attractions today, and a good amount of them had ride nows throughout the day. Like I said earlier, the operations here at Volcano Bay have been very smooth, operating very well, very quick, and I really appreciate that. We put our nice outfits on because once we exit the park, we're actually going over our family's house to celebrate Easter and have dinner. But on the way out, I would like to stop through the gift shop, just see if there's anything new, and then see what else we can see on the way out of the park. Passing by the premium cabanas that you can rent for the day. I definitely want to do this next time. Like I said earlier, definitely book in advance because I feel like these are worth it. Even the premium seating, I really like. Ooh, I really like this Volcano Bay tie-dye t-shirt. This is $35. Here's the front. They have a shot glass or a toothpick holder, a tie-dye coffee mug, a Tervis, and a water bottle. Oh, what's this? I believe you can put like your credit cards and cash in here and it won't get wet. That's neat, 10 bucks. They also have these swim shirts in white and navy blue. If you forgot your sunblock, they have you covered here. They also have goggles, swim shoes, these waterproof phone cases for $35. Here's another Volcano Bay t-shirt. I like this tank top down here. And then they have a few hoodies and sweatshirts. I think we all are a bit sad to leave just because it was such a fun and relaxing day. And I love that we decided to do this on Easter just to switch things up and had a family day. It really turned out to be a great day. I just wanted to say hi everyone and, al <laughs> and also if you're looking for a non-traditional thing to do on a holiday take one year off at least switch it up switch it up do something different and come to volcano bay i had a blast yeah it was so much i've fun. always said universal knocked it out of the park literally with this they park did. it's this is so amazing here i love it yeah it's a great day yeah adri what did you think yes let's ask her um i thought i had a really good time at volcano bay yeah what was your favorite? My favorite thing that I did here was go on the aqua coaster. Oh, yeah. She had a blast. Don't forget to drop off your tapu tapus on the way out. And now we're walking back to the bus, and then we're going to take the bus back to the parking garage where we parked our car, and we're going to head over to have Easter dinner. We have the bus all to ourselves. Ooh, what do we have here? Some ham. We've got corn casserole. We've got little carrots. We came a little late. So. That's all right. And then we have a uh, roast on noodles. Potato salad. So delicious. We've got potato salad. And potato salad? salad. Yeah. Oh, dear. I'm making you some ham. I'm, I'm making your plate, baby. Oh, my gosh. It looks so good. Thank you, baby. I wish you guys could smell the scent that I'm smelling right now. I loaded my plate up. Let's dig in. Hi, Levi. Hey, buddy. You cutie. Yeah. I uh, destroyed my Easter dinner. 
Holy moly. She, she hit the M&M's. You got M&M's? You got to check them out because pop up. We're at the supercharger and we were the only Tesla here at the supercharger. And now there's so many Teslas all around us. They keep coming. We just bring the crowd, don't we? <laughs> I am so exhausted. We just made it back home. Easter dinner was so good. I always love it when Bianca's mom and Bianca's aunts prepares meals on holidays. Oh, it's just always so good. But what a fantastic day we had back at Volcano Bay. We were there for a little over seven hours. I definitely got some sun, which I needed some sun. I feel great. We just had so much fun. Adri loved it. We rode so many water attractions today, but we did spend a long time in the Fearless River. Honestly, you could just go to Volcano Bay and enjoy the Fearless River all day. And I feel like you would get your money's worth because that's how I feel. And there's days where we go to Volcano Bay and we just lay in the sun and just enjoy the Fearless River in the wave pool and we leave pretty happy. I really wish I got to try some more food from around the park, but the crowds were just too busy after we finished up having lunch because we had lunch so early for Adri. And then after we finished, the lines just got very long as I showed you. And I waited just about 25 minutes for my adult beverage. It was worth it. It is what it is. As far as navigating the park with a 10 year old, just be prepared to do everything. And I'm so glad we got to do this today because normally when I come to Volcano Bay to make these videos, it's just me and just having the whole family with me today was so nice because I got to do some things that I never got the chance to do at Volcano Bay, like ride just about all of the attractions and we just did everything. I mean, we spent so much time in both lazy rivers. We spent so much time in the wave pool. We were laying out, enjoying the sun. And then for the rest of the day, we were just going back and forth between rides. A lot of the rides were riding now, so we got very lucky. Now, you can purchase Express at Volcano Bay. I don't know if Express is worth it at Volcano Bay because I've never experienced using Express at that park. But I think you just get on all of the rides whenever you want without having to tap in with your Tapu Tapu to get in the virtual line. Instead, you just go to whatever attraction you want and then just get in line from there. But you're still going to be waiting in line, just not as long. I think the only few things we did not have time to do today were the drop slides at the top of the volcano, which stinks because we really wanted to do that. But that had about a 180 minute wait all day and we were already in line for the aqua coaster. So we just had a pick and we just wanted to do the aqua coaster and we did not do oh yeah and oh no, but we did everything else. It was a great day. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all had a beautiful Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you had a beautiful Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help with the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.